Your past is a gift. So I had a whole list of things and they're the videos that are coming up now as of this one of how the world shows you what you are, who you are, what you're made of, okay? Now, going on from the previous video, okay, um, I wanted to share the observation of owning a cat. If you've ever had a cat, if you've ever observed a cat, a cat is a master at teaching you about peace. That's the cat's job. That's why people love having cats around. They are at peace all the time. Yes, they're joyful and they're silly and they're curious. You know, they can teach you about curiosity as well. But the main thing to take away when you observe a cat over a period of time, you'll see that a cat is at peace. It can sit in the sun for hours and it has this content look on its face that it doesn't need to be anywhere else. It doesn't need to be anything else. It doesn't need to be doing anything. It's just happy to be and to be accepting that wonderful blessing of that warm sun on its back. It's at peace. Now what I love about cats and the lessons that they have to give us is that, okay, if a cat is sitting there and it's at peace, it's happy and it's quiet and it's enjoying a moment and you come in with a vacuum cleaner, anyone with a cat will know. The most of them, for the most part, 99% of cats will run off and find another space, another spot that's quiet and they don't have to put up with that noise. They will move because they don't want their peace interrupted. A cat, if it's not happy in the home, that's taken it in as a kitten, if there is no love there, if there are people always arguing, if there's too much noise, if they don't have time for this cat, it will find another house, it will find another home that will give it what it needs. But the most important lesson from a cat is that it will not change what it is. It will not stop being at peace because of you, because of what's around it. A cat will not do that. To the cat, the most important thing is to feel that peace, to be that peace, to be at peace. If you observe a cat very, very carefully, and if it's in an environment that is peaceful, that knows what peace is, then that cat is happy there. It's content, it's placid, it will thrive in that environment. But what I love the most about cats is that they will not change who they are for anything else, for anyone else. If they don't want a pat, they won't have a pat. And they'll let you know they don't want a pat. If they do want a pat, they make it obvious, this is what I want. They know how to get what they want. And when they don't want something, they move away from it. They don't sit there and argue with you that this is what I want and you're not giving it to me and so therefore, you know, I'm going to meow at you for the next three hours. <laughs> oh, sure, fair enough. When a cat is old enough, it's been with you for a long, long time, it might sit and meow for food, things like that. But this cat is happy in this home. If it weren't happy, it wouldn't stay there. Oh, unless it's one of those cats, you know, you're locked inside and it has no way out. You know, but given the choice, the cat, you know, does not come to you. It doesn't try to please you. These are the lessons of the cat. The cat just is and does what it needs to feel good, to feel at peace. That is the lesson of the cat. If not, observe one really carefully and you'll see. A cat does not go out of its way to please anybody else. It just is. And all it looks for all day is just to feel good. Whether it's jumping around, chasing a ball because it's fun, it feels good. Or whether it's just sitting in the sun and having a really peaceful moment, just being content with that moment. No interruptions. It just wants to feel good. It knows how to 
to do that. It knows how to get what it needs. And that's what we need to learn. We need to learn from the cat. You need to learn to get what you need and to stop expecting others to do it for you. Because as a child, you're too small to do certain things up to a certain age. And even then, at a certain age, you don't have the language to say what you need yet. You haven't developed the words. You don't know how to say, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I need this, I need that. The adults around you have to work it out. But as you get older, and especially if you're an adult, you know, even a teenager, you are old enough now to know what you want, to be able to do it for yourself. All right, my darlings? Learn from the cat. Don't change who you are. You don't need to change who you are, and you don't need to please anybody. You don't. To be at peace, to be who you are. You don't need to do any of those things. All right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.